Yo, peace, was good. Uh, Works in the storm of random things that irked me. This is part nine. I know it's been a couple months since I've done one. I think it's been like two months since I've done one, but better late than never, right? Uh, first topic I want to talk about is um, thirsty, the word thirsty. That shit needs to be omitted from the vocabulary, or today's vocabulary, I should say. Because I think a lot of people over abuse that word too fucking much. Um, and for those, some of my subscribers or viewers that's watching this that don't know what thirsty means, it, it definitely, it, it basically means like, you know, um, somebody that's desperate for something. Let's like say, um, somebody that's thirsty, like, you know, that's all about girls and shit like that. You know, they just would like, for example, like, you know, somebody that's like a sex fiend or somebody that's like a sex addict or somebody like that is just want to fuck, 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 fuck. You know, that I consider as a thirsty person, you know what I mean? But, you know, that, I don't know. It's just like, you know, for example, like, somebody, like, for example, like, there's, there's times where, you know, you would have people on Facebook that would um just like, 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 like on, let's say, like, on beautiful girls or girls with big asses or some shit like that. You just like, like, like. You would be considered a thirsty nigga. I'm like, I don't understand that. That's so fucking stupid. If you like something, you like something. How does that make him thirsty? You know, um, I just don't understand that shit. You know, it, it just fucking pisses me off. Like, I, it's so stupid. Or for example, like you know, you're, you're a guy. You, you know, you um, girls are fucking guilty of this shit too. Where guys too, but most, but um, well, let's say you know. You know, you're trying to get out of girl and stuff like that. You know, girls like guys that are consistent. At least some girls, you know. Um, you know, but then it's like, you know, the girl is not giving the guy the time of day, but he keeps um pursuing. You know, he would be considered a thirsty dude because he's desperate. And it's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, it's just like that's the shit that pisses me off. Like, people just don't know what the fuck they want. Either they want somebody that's consistent. But yeah, they don't want too much. But when they get when they get it, it or oh, they 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 too much. It's too much of something. I just don't understand that. It's so fucking stupid. It's like you can't be anything and you can't do anything no more without being labeled something. That shit fucking irks me, man. Like that. It's like you know, like for me, for example, like you know, um, I like vintage stuff. Like I like like for example, I'm wearing polo sport. You know, from the '90s. They don't make polo sport anymore. You know, um, I just like vintage gear, you know what I mean? Oh, you're stuck in the 90s. It's, it, it just goes back to the same shit, like, you know, oh, you're a backpacker because I only listen to 90s hip-hop with that bullshit. You know, I'm just giving you an example. And it's like, everybody's fucking labeling people, and it just pisses me off, man. It's like, why can't you be who you are? Like, if you like something, you like it. What's the fucking mystery? People act like, people that keep saying that, it's like, they act like, oh, they don't have fucking flaws, or they don't have... Um, likes of anything like oh they're too perfect like they're too good to do that like I, I just hate fucking people like that that shit fucking oh uh, man I know you know people like that you know what I mean people that you know fucking show off you know shit like that just cocky arrogant motherfuckers like that you know it just pisses me off like ah uh, uh, that shit fucking irks me um another thing too that irks me um I see is People that post like you know um relationships like like the memes like the pictures like they have like a random picture and they have like the quotes and shit like that um you know it'll say shit like um um like relationship advice is like um just be yourself do this do that you know but then when it comes to the nitty gritty when all that shit does happen in real life um you look down upon, you know what I mean? It is. It gets overlooked, you understand? It's like, I just don't understand that shit. Like, practice what you preach. Because when, it, like, it's like they say, be careful what you ask for, because when you get it, then it's gonna come at you with full force, you know what I mean? It's just, ah, oh man, that, that shit just fucking irks me. Because when you meet these people that post these things, they're nothing like it. They're nothing like what they preach, you know what I mean? They're the total opposite. You know, a lot of times, it goes back to what I'm saying. Maybe the guy who um is trying to pursue you, or the girl that's trying to pursue you, you know, he was like, oh you're, oh he's a thirsty nigga, or he's a thirsty, she's a thirsty bitch, you know, it's like shit like that. It's like, come on, like, the fuck, man, like that shit, that shit fucking pisses me off. Another thing that pisses me off is um, 
I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this, but fuck it, I'm gonna say it because you know I'm, I'm uncut raw. Um, it's justification. I, I I'm not for justification. I understand it. I was I understand what it's for. I I'm kind of for it, but I'm not at the same time. Here's why. Um, I'll give you a perfect example. New York City. Um, where I'm from. I'm from Queens, New York. Well, I was I was raised in Queens. I was I'm originally born in Brownsville, but um, you know. New York is going through gen it's been going on for years. Um like gentrification is pretty much when um you know, people with money come into the low income neighborhoods, they buy all the property and the people that live there, um, for thirty some odd years, thirty something years or fifty years or twenty years or whatever, have to move out because, you know, the rent is going up high, um, you know, they're building like new stores and all that shit. You know, like old like it, it's to the point where like a lot of the mom and pop stores closed down, and they put like you know Subway or fucking you know Stone Cold Factory or fucking you know all these corporate stores. You know what I mean? It's just like there's no soul anymore, man. It's, and that's what I noticed with New York now. Like it's like New York is not what it used to be. I mean, I don't live in New York no more. I, I haven't lived in. I moved out of New York. Matter of fact, today is what's today's date? Today is the tenth. Wow, that's crazy. Today actually marks eleven days, eleven years. Excuse me, since I lived in Florida. So I moved eleven years ago today from New York to Florida, which is crazy. So yeah, man. But yeah, New York is not what it used to be, man. Like gentrification. Like I understand why it's trying to make the neighborhood better. I guess for the low income neighborhoods, but then. Is not good because people that been living there for twenty some odd years have to move out because rent is more expensive. You know what I mean? It's just it that shit bothers me, man. Like it, to me, it defeats the purpose of justification. To me, um, you know, it, I don't know, man. It's just New York. It's just New York has lost its grittiness to me. New York is not what it used to be. It's just becoming fucking Hollywood. No disrespect to the West Coast, but it's like. It's just gotten on some, like, real Beverly Hills shit now. Like, you see cats, you know, on that fucking European stilo. You know what I mean? Niggas rocking, like, the tight jeans and niggas rocking, like, expensive-ass clothing. Like, that costs, like, $500 for a fucking belt, which I think is stupid. Um, Niggas rock. You know, it's just, it's, it's stupid. I just, I, I fucking hate that shit, man. No, I don't like change. Hey, I, I, I understand you have to adapt, but in certain things, you just have to cut shit off. You know what I mean? That... But that's just me, man. Like, you know, change isn't always good. You know, I, that's just me. Um, that's how I feel about gentrification, you know. But ah, water. Very good for you. But yeah, man, gentrification, man, I'm not feeling that shit. Like, you know, like like I said, I'm a I'm a I'm a pro, um because New York is known for as a grassroots city. You know what I mean? And, you know, that's just, yeah, New York is known for as a grassroots city. So, there's a lot of independent mom and pop stores. That's what New York is known for, you know. And you get a lot of bargains. You know, you, you get to bargain with people, the prices and shit like that. Now, you can't really do that no more. Like, they closing a lot of those stores down. So, you're kind of hurting the community that was once there, you know. But... I don't know. That's just my opinion, you know. Yeah, call me, you know, you're setting your ways or you need to move on, blah, blah, blah. Fuck it. That, that's just me. That's just how I feel, man. It's just New York is not what it used to be. New York is getting more expensive. It's, it, it literally is the richer gets richer, the poorer gets poorer in New York. That's why you have a lot of New Yorkers moving down, down south because the way New York is, you know what I mean? But, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, that shit fucking irks me. Another thing that irks me is um certain items online or certain items in general going out of print and people selling for outrageous prices, which fucking irks me because, oh my God, I hate that shit because I'm a collector. There's certain movies that I want to buy, certain CDs I want to buy, but people are charging like outrageous amounts of money, like which makes no fucking sense. Like... I don't know, man. I, I'm just not... I'm not desperate. I'm not, I guess they would say, thirsty like that to buy certain things. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, 
the highest I ever paid for a CD was forty dollars, and that was because um I bought it from, uh I bought I bought nine second album Cloud Nine that came out in nineteen ninety six, um, you know but I bought it from Nine himself and the CD was autographed and the CD was in pristine condition like there was no scratches it looked like it was never played, it looked like like he just like I don't know took it off the rap off the rapper. And just mailed it out. That's how fucking dope that shit looks, man. But, you know, I think certain things like that is worth buying. But, you know, it, it's just... I don't know, man. I just don't understand some of these people that just want to sell certain things that's out of print, that's no longer made, but you want to make... I understand you're trying to make money. It's a hustle, but it's kind of stupid at the same time. Like, if you're going to sell that much... If you're going to sell for that much, at least sell it... You know, at least have it in pristine condition, at least, in my opinion. Um, same thing with, with fucking hype beasts, man. Like, I'm not really into sneakers like that, but, you know, like, these fucking hype beasts, they would sell, like, you know, sneakers that's, like, you know, sneakers that's one, like, that's, um, I guess that's on, on high demand. And, you know, they're going to sell it more than the actual retail price. Like, and people are actually buying that shit. It's like... You're fucking stupid to me, man. Like, why the fuck would you do that? Like, it's just like, it's just, I don't understand people like that. I understand money, you want to make money, but to me, money isn't everything. You know, it just fucking irks me. Like, for example, like, I mean, I'm, I'm looking for um, Ultra Magneta MC's second album on Fuck Your Head Up that came out back in 1992. I went on Amazon. I seen that shit for $465. I'm like, are you fuck for a brand new, for a brand new um, see, copy, and it's like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not paying 460 that's close to $500 you're paying for that. Are you, like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not paying that. That shit is crazy to me, man. That shit, I, I just don't understand it. It's not like the money is going to the fucking, um, to the, to the artists themselves, because all of them shit is used, like I said. It's just, I just don't understand that shit, man. I hate that, man. Um, but that's it, you know, that's all I'm gonna say, cause I have nothing else to say, this, uh, I know a lot of you guys been asking me for more, uh, just, these stuff just take a while to, you know, cause there's a lot of things that, it, cause when I do these videos, like, it, it's stuff that I have to, you know, build up, and I can't just put just one thing, so that's why it's random stuff, but, um, hope you enjoyed that, um, uh, stay tuned for more, peace.